Ascension, December 2015 Maria. I am Mary, Queen of Heaven and Earth. Children beloved, let me cover it with the blue mantle of grace, here and for all those who have the opportunity to read, to listen and understand my speech this evening. I know, pertinently, that my words will be read or heard by a tiny fraction of the whole of humanity. But this small part that you represent have the means to echo what I will say and perhaps also prepare some of my children who have not had the chance also to meet me or recognize me, to uncover the truth of my love and the truth of mother that I harbor for you. As perhaps you perceive it with your eyes of flesh, with its metal, the scene of this world shows them to see elements that are poured, events that come in multiple parts of the world, regarding both as brothers, his sisters, my children, as the earth who looks about him today, notes that the face of the earth becomes different. I come to encourage them to go beyond appearances, beyond the events, sometimes spectacular, taking place anywhere in this world. I will throw to you who hear me, they hear me, who read me, to penetrate now the sanctuary of his heart. Long, you work, you and us, to make them discover the truth in themselves and for themselves. We dock them what was allowed to contribute to them to help them in this way for truth, for themselves and for love. Today, there is urgency. No temporal urgency, even if it is real, but much more a spiritual urge to go to him, to be reunited. Whatever the dissonance of this world and whatever the theater of events, do not miss, ever in mind that my son and myself left to you over these millennia, numerous loving and caring alerts for with you about the truth of love, on the truth of his being, about the truth of life. As a new day rises, it will be essential for you to realize itself, which was announced by my son, for myself and the group of prophets from any source they earned in different ways. It is time to understand the urgency and importance of love, to live it, express it, do it. The human being has ever been so strong in love than when he feels abandoned when he may feel affected or destroyed by the circumstances of lack of love which gives you precisely the resources to rediscover this love he is and overcome whatever it is offensive to love which is, ultimately, only the fear of love. I would like to reiterate this evening, as I said very often during these centuries, do not be afraid neither death nor life, nor to express, honestly, what is most beautiful in you, to bypass obstacles, the evidence that life landed them, engaging, always more, to find his eternal sonship, to live, really and not to appear live entertainment in this world, we want to deflect them from their truth. The time of my collective appeal is now ready enough for me to declare with those of my children who listen to me and read me. I repeat, do not be afraid. Look at the joy that grows on you, whatever torments this world requires them to do, requiring them to live, the separation, division, war, the opposition, the total absence of fraternity, that is, I, I repeat, in short, just the fear of love, because the world does not know love. Surely you are already numerous, after all, to live the premises or the intensity of love. But each child, each of my children, wherever they are, must understand this, to find itself the resources to settle in what is true, to no longer depend on the dictates and the oppression that come from fear love. Nothing judge because it does not fit them, and remember that to the extent with which you judge, you will be judged, yourselves, by themselves, do not forget that. Because you enter the time of love in the times of grace, no more, only for a moment, no longer solely for some of you, but a grace offered to every one of my children. Look around. As long as man is killed, man to man, from country to country, the nature shows them that it is indifferent to these injuries, those faults and those fears of love. And you also, in your heart, whether for a moment or more consistently, or even as a hope, you acquiesce to the greatness of love. Even if there is stumbling, they are nothing. You are the host of the times and in times of truth. I would say that there is more that quibble, there is more to wait, there is more, either, to design whatever it may be. Every day, the blue mantle of grace that I place on his shoulders henceforth will realign them in depth to what you are discovering an inner world much richer and far more real than the world gives them the sea on the surface of the earth that was created with so much love, long ago, in a time scale that, for you, these bodies, nothing to say, and it is, however, the truth, that you will find, if ever it was not done. 
it is time to realize, I would say, the evidence, the evidence of love, evidence of joy. Some of my children who go down at that time, to depths not your inner being, but the depths of matter, there are also just more fear, love thirsty, absolute thirsty and truth, even if to do so, rather than serving up the heart, they serve as weapons, they serve what was in some way, incited them. Do not worry about them. Be with me as I am with you and in you. Everything else will become evident. Whatever shocks and whatever the apparent hardness, there is, in depth, not in the depths of matter, but in the depths of these events, a great miracle that will operate. It will be regenerated, but at another time, at a time which is not more time, but a space that is not a space. Not theme in his eyes, not theme in the various images show you, in telling them. Experience for themselves the truth of love, in these troubled times and in these times of grace. They are, effectively, however, the same events that will trigger in some, further disturbances, and others, even more joy. It all depends where you look. If you look at the limited side of life, indeed, this is a pain, but if you look with your heart, you then see the joy you there summer peace, not the peace with which you have come in this world, it is only a small space between permanent conflict, but real peace, that the truth, that's their nature. There is in each one of my children, the same embryo love. It is identical, it cannot be otherwise. Living conditions certainly choked him. Ironia's beliefs in what is life and what is God led ever more fear, the fear of hell, fear of purgatory, fear of the afterlife, fear of death, that more and more crystallized in the absence of love. This was desired, of course, not for me, not even for you, but is the direct result of confinement. They made us believe for a long time, not us, but those who did not live the truth, it was necessary to purify, it was necessary to evolve, it was necessary to improve, while, of course, what you see has nothing to do on the screen the world, with no improvement. Some of my children are desolate despair, and is at the bottom of this despair that love will be revealed and will show up. There's the sense of my call, that I give to you tonight, to you who have the chance to be able to read it but in a more global way, at the time I that I've become. I ensuffle in his heart, the hope of the infinite and the truth of the infinite, which puts down everything can remain fears, fear of love, afraid of the truth. There is nothing shameful in what you are. Nothing is suffering as you are. Everything was done to prevent them from penetrating your joy and your truth, by occupations and distractions, the beliefs, the forgery even of those who relayed messages from my son and that have forgotten their mission. But all this is not important, because a mother forgive, always, even the most despicable crime of his son, and proposes to him, certainly more intense way, to him, the redemption precisely because it is perhaps the less worthy in the eyes of the flesh, but it is he who has more need for it, in the eyes of the spirit. Each of you will soon be the choice to live, real and concrete, liberation or choosing to keep some also fear of love, to rediscover the thread of truth. The intelligence of light and his revelation now to the physical plane, will show you, specifically, what is the intelligence of light. The light is in fact the only thing that stand and expand will. You are released, that they have been repeated in countless reruns, but the fake world is also under her eyes. Suffering from a lack of love is all over this part. The ephemeral person is regarded as a god, which governs the laws of nature and laws of life, while there is only one law governing all by itself, is the law of love and the law of one. So, to cover it with the blue mantle of grace, which marks them, so my presence, the joy will be such that nothing more will be noticeable. The only possible refuge is in you, and you will note the for themselves. Some of you have found it there many years, others found it very recently, and the crowd will discover. In the depths of your love, love will prove to you, do not doubt it, do not believe it, because you can already, live it, to you, and what each of you can live, today, set of my children can live it at the time coming. You are not advanced, you are perhaps the precursors. His thirst for love was more intense, you were not busy, entirely, by the delights and wrongs of this world. Perhaps you have saved itself, so perhaps a little more lucid, even without living it, that the only aim, 
if I may speak of goal, was love. Many of my sister's stars for its latest incarnation, they showed them both the East and the West, the way of what you are, which illuminates what you are. Not as a model to worship, but rather as what you could be, each of you, whether you are a man or a woman, whether you are a believer or atheist, whether you follow such a religion and such a philosophy. Love knows no race, love knows no religion, love recognizes only the love, the rest does not even exist. I come to ask them anything, not even his love. I come simply ask them to recognize the grace, this pre-ascension descent from earth. Get down in your heart, you will find there the necessary impetus, there you will find the lightness. What is the child on this earth, loved by his mother, who has not, itself, and this treasure those memories? Similarly, among you, today, in a global way at the time of my call, some of you live it, already accepted him and expect. I come to tell you that you no longer have to wait. I come to tell you that there is no more delay. I come to tell you that everything is finished, for you and for everyone else of my children, very soon. Everything was organized and prepared for the light to reveal it entirely and in full, on the surface of Earth. Earth supports you, by the way. In addition to her movements, and their anger, it is revived, she shows them the life. Their reunions, which are produced in you, but also in nature, or in your heart, are of the same essence and the same love. I know that, these days, many of you, one way or another, are put to live unconditional love. They discover to love everyone, to see themselves in each. This is part of my grace and his grace. The grace blue mantle and my presence in you unlock what it looked like, there is still some time, frozen, because love does not freeze, never, not in a way, not in words, not in organizations and, even less, in religions. From now on, you no longer need an intermediary between you and the love between you and us. For some it is a fulminant discovery, which is changing completely. Not of life, of place, but, first of all, look that is carried on earth, about life without distinction of race, sex, age or religion, without close or distant affection of distinction. There's the truth. For those of you that apart from the vibrations of consciousness, discover today the simplicity of love and beauty, I can only encourage them to leave, always grow, even more the manifestation of this love. And for those who do not live, and they have, anyway, the chance to read me, accept this and you will live the. They are no longer needed intermediaries, or rituals, or specific prayers. Open yourselves. There is nothing more simple, so simple that when you to find out if it is not still the case today, you will wonder, then, how could live without it, live for you or for your family, and not live for life for permanent donation of life. All faults, whatever they are, will no longer be lived as faults, but as an opportunity to grow born in you. For those of you who live, today, or solely today, vibrator inverters name processes, superconsciousness, let also flowing life. Look what unfolds when you lose in relation to their beliefs and their attachments, even to their own conscience. Many of my sisters express these latter times this year, I would also tell them to not idealize me or represent me in terms of a story, even if it has been so important in the earth illusion. When I tell them I am your mother of all, this is truly the only truth. The more you are in love, you will live less troublesome and less you'll be bothered by the ephemeral, so it's like that of any other or of any situation. The blue mantle of grace is my signature. He makes them discover their own grace and comes also mean them that times come. They live at that very moment, and your heart knows it, even if your mind refuses. This is not a projection, it is not an anticipation as the brute reality that you discover. In fact, look like, with a unique look hoarded on any event of this world, in addition to the explanations, you know, increasingly, the falseness of all that is presented to them, because it has nothing to do with life and even less, to do with love. The blue mantle of grace give them will, too if not already done, the importance of each breath that you take the surface of this world, from the moment that love has germinated and speak up. I do not ask you to join anything, I ask them simply to recognize who you are and I am in you, as you are in me. Each of you is in me. Of course, 
this may seem incomprehensible to them, their eyes of flesh. My son had said, what you do to the least of you, it is to him that you make. There is a great mystery, which is well beyond the unit in the absence of division and separation that superconsciousness can live, but it is a fact that is somehow engraved in marble, both here and elsewhere. Soon, your thirst will be quenched beyond all hopes, from the moment that you accept look you are and let the love working through you, through his person, through his life, through his family, through its close and much more, yet, through what you could name the enemies. There are no enemies, just the fear of love. The love wants you all, whole. Love knows no half measure and thus it has germinated, it can only grow, it may just be evidence that installs. No one can deny it. For some, thanks to the discomforts of earth at this time because at that time many of my children who have lost hope in this world reunited the truth which is not of this world. Time is the fulfillment of the word, in compliance with the oath and promise, in truth. As children of the love, you can be just him, and nothing frightens them or limit them. Love comes invite them to no longer be limited to the expression of love, no longer limited due to the gaze of the other, which is only yourself. The children of the truth cannot suffer any change of the truth, now. I repeat, whatever the appearances, are not deceived by them, but listen to the truth of your heart, not that of his person, but that of eternity. The ephemeral dies, eternity awake. Whatever your age, whatever your root, if nurture the love that you are, is the only nutrition that is worthy and full. Because without love, because to keep the fear of love, you can only observe increasing conflicts ever wider, as in love, the fear will move away from you forever, even in this period before my appeal. The free life is free from any form of any bond. Only the co-creation and joy are present. The shadow cannot exist, suffering either. Everything is created by love and love as a game of consciousness, but a game that is allegria, it's not absolutely assimilated to what we live on this earth, except, of course, if you've found what you are. The blue mantle of grace I have been put on his shoulders is his banner of love and the certainty of my presence, even before, my appeal, not for a moment, but in a much more definitive way. Remember, there are no more barriers. Confederate vessels are present everywhere in his heaven, visible to their eyes of flesh, in increasingly innumerable testimonies. Then decide themselves. Say yes to eternity, say yes to eternal life. Say yes to the joy of love. Say yes to life, not an amputated life, which falls between the birth and a death, but a life in which every moment is a new birth and in which no death can exist, not even be imagined. At that very moment, in the parent vessel in which I am with my sister's stars, we burn of love for you, we burn of love for meet them, well, as you are. Our hearts dance, from the moment we observe the awakening of the earth. Is it really a birth? Once past, in general, a mother forgets the difficulties of birth, and the child as well. So yes, you are giving birth themselves. So yes, ever more numerous, you discover and live unconditional love, that does not embarrass any convention, emotional, moral, social, which is independent of the environment, of their wealth or their material poverty. This allows you relativize first, and then forget everything now, everything dies, because the light does not allow anything other than life and dying is nothing more than illusion. Many of you come alive in those days, and discover with joy, unconditional love. His strength is there. It is the force that moves the dimensions, is the force behind all creative acts. Remember that you do not have to perform any war, you just have to see who you are, and this will become increasingly easy. If this seems to you also complicated, it is simply because you must deposit the bales, those that remain, still, and preventing them from seeing and living. There where I am today is the good place. Some of you may also readjust by brutal changes, but, wherever they are, love touches them and love will reach you, and set on fire in you, that inextinguishable joy of love revealed. Do you recognize, then? You will recognize, even since. And remember that the obstacles that can be found also on their way, are nothing. They are only opportunities or even excuse to rediscover me. As I said, I've been asking anything, I come to offer them the blue mantle of grace. 
even for those of you that nothing live the super consciousness, vibration, I ask you anything because I offer them all, as you are offered to love. Love, on the surface of this world, with this unconditional love, is well beyond the simple judgment, is to go well beyond, is to see only love. Not as one who would not want to see the reality of this world, but precisely thanks to the reality of this world, sees only the love, because nothing else is there. Fear of love, then leave you, and what can remain, still, their habits, their beliefs, their fears. You will see that there is no shadow in you, and remember that what you see in the other, like a shadow, is in fact only a reflection of what you are. Seeing him really and concretely, that is, there also will change, radical Monty, their way of living it. Each of you is important, today, whatever their position, whatever love, spoken or unspoken. Each of you benefits from an equal love and an equal light. The obstacles are nothing love erases everything, love forgives everything, love supports everything. You will live it and you live it, already. And all of my children cannot do differently than acquiesce to this, even if there are also rebellious children, if I may say, even extremists, who will defend in any way, which is already obsolete and dead, but even that it is not important, because they will have lived one has to live after my appeal. Many of you, I have called you, there are many years today, I no longer need to call them even if you are called, like everyone else. You have just need to let up cover for my blue mantle of grace, to say yes to love, unconditionally, without any question, and instantly unconditional love will emerge because the light is everywhere, whatever they want to make them believe and make them live. As the last players have said this time and during those times earth, all that is established and is already in place. We hope, we, like you, the coming of the visible sign of all, before I direct myself to you and the Confederation Assembly introduce themselves to you, flooding your sky, literally, vessels and light, showing the futility those who oppose with ridiculous means in relation to the power of love. So, we realize now, if you will, here is when you read me, a moment of silent prayer for the grace of the blue man proves to you as I reveal myself to you, and how you reveal to love. A fusion. Then, the unified silence of our hearts, it is revealed the miracle of love. The twelve doors of his inner Jerusalem sing the song of liberation. Silence. You hearing me, you who read me, listen and welcome. I offer you everything. I restore him to full of himself. Silence. You, who got there with me, try, with your heart, what you are. Silence. And then, at that moment, wherever you are, I'm with you. Silence. Let joy fill it, that's what you are. Everything else will become accessory, both in their consciousness as in his life. Silence. I love you, and I will love him, whether you like it or not, nothing will change, because only a mother can love. Silence. I come to comfort him, if you have need to be comforted, so you empty your tears in my heart and they are dried by the fire of love. You feel it? Silence. Is, indeed, now, is, really, what you are. There is nothing to become, because living this is living the whole. Silence. My son, my beloved, I bless your presence here, I bless your presence that you have read and heard, and I offer you the love that you are. My son, my beloved, I call it. I call to life. I squeeze now in my heart, to loosen the fears of fear of this world and what can still be afraid. I bless also in burning the sun sun you are, you, coated his body and immortal glory. I greet you as eternity, as revealed star, because here comes the end of the night. A new dawn rises over the earth on a regenerated earth, where you will have the freedom to put up without obstruction, to come and go wherever you want and wherever its light hearts you. So yes, I salute your light, I salute his goodness, because I know my blue robe can only magnify his goodness, his kindness and his smile. Perhaps I am, already, there, in your heart. I'll be there, anyway, if not today, then tomorrow. And if not tomorrow, it will be at the latest, before Christmas. You know, his heart already know, your head will grasp very quickly you cannot longer be the least doubt, there is no longer the slightest doubt. I love you, and go in peace, 
in love of truth and the truth of love. I bow before you. See you soon my son. Silence.